This video shows how to use the Doceri timeline and how to manage new slides. For those of you who have been using Doceri 1.2, you should still watch this video as it shows some key differences with the past version. When drawing in Doceri, it's useful to think about each stroke you write as an element in a stream of strokes that comprise your drawing. Doceri's unique timeline feature allows you to move to different points within that stream. This is useful for both playback and editing. The simplest use of the timeline is for playback. So I'm going to draw a series of numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I'm going to open the timeline by sliding this tab down. Here we see the timeline which shows tick marks for each stroke that I just created. If I slide the timeline to the left, I can now go back to the beginning of the strokes. And now I will hit play. Doceri plays back the strokes at the speed at which I wrote them. There's also a slider which allows me to adjust the playback speed slower or faster. The timeline becomes very handy in another way. Let's say that I want to clean up the way that I wrote 1. I can slide the timeline back just to the point where the 1 appears, and now I can redraw it. That leaves me with two versions of 1. I can move backward or forward one stroke at a time with the two buttons that look like an arrow with a line. Now I just hit the undo button to remove that stroke and now I have my new numeral 1. There are two other items that you can insert into the timeline. The first is a clear screen. It's designated by a white symbol that looks like a lollipop. When you see this symbol in the timeline, it signifies the beginning of a new slide. I'm going to go back and insert a new slide between the numbers 3 and 4. Now we see that there is a new page that appears in the timeline. Now as I run through the timeline, you will see that the number 4 appears entirely on its own slide. The next item that you can insert into the timeline is a stop shown as a red lollipop. The red stops tell Doceri to stop playback. So I'm going to go back and insert a red stop after each number, 1, 2, 3. Now, when I hit play, playback will stop at each red stop. You can easily remove the clear screen or stops in your drawing by either sliding the timeline over the item you wish to delete and, as you see, the button now changes to red indicating that you can remove that stop or just simply back up to a point after the item and hit undo. The buttons that show an arrow with a white lollipop go to the next or previous slide. The buttons that have a red dot in the lollipop will go to the next or previous stop or clear screen. These buttons are very useful during your presentation if you wish to move backwards or forwards without the animations. Notice that when you close the timeline, the next slide, previous slide buttons move to the edge and are always available. This is more useful when you're not doing a presentation and are simply authoring content in Doceri. Also, only when the timeline is not showing, the next button at the right will automatically create a new slide at the end of your project. The final tool I'd like to show you is the Erase All Strokes button. The Erase All Strokes will erase all your strokes on a given slide, essentially making a clear, clean slide. You can always hit Undo to bring it back. It's important to note that when you slide the timeline, you will lose your Undo and Redo ability. And that concludes this video. Thank you for using Doceri.